What is up guys, I'm Will, and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I do release new aquarium related content each and every week. In today's video, we're actually gonna be focusing on the 29 gallon here. I haven't done a video on this in a while, so I figured it was probably time to give you guys an update. This tank has actually been a problem tank for me, and I think that the reason why is because of how deep it is. I've been struggling with algae, all every type of algae I have had in this tank, but I think I've finally reached a balance, so I just kind of wanted to go over that with you guys. So initially, um, when I first set this tank up, I got a big bloom of cyanobacteria. So, you know, I tried to fix the problem immediately, put a Band-Aid on it. So I grabbed um, Tiger, my Siamese algae eater, and I put him in there, and he ate all of that cyanobacteria right up, just completely nuked it. And then what happened is, because there was no, none of that algae uh, was in there anymore, then I got a spike in ammonia, presumably, within the water. So then I got green water, which is another type of algae. That is a suspended algae that basically turns your entire aquarium green. So I had to deal with that for a couple of months. And then I kind of got that under control. And then now I've got some other algae, but I think that I finally have reached a balance. Um, the algae seems to actually be subsiding now. And I'll roll some B-roll footage here so you can see all of the purling that's going on in the tank. All of these plants are purling. Um, I'm also getting some runners, so I'll show you some clips of that as well. Um, also, quick sidebar, I do have some floating plants in here, and I think that these have also helped to achieve a balance in this setup. Those are Salvinia and Amazon Frogbit. Basically, you know, I'm dosing fertilizers into this setup, so if there's too much fertilizer in the water, then those floating plants will utilize that as a food source and therefore reduce the amount of nutrients that are in the water. What else about this tank? So I did remove um, tiger as well. You know, I, I do find that some algae is actually a benefit to an aquarium that does help to balance it out as well. So I, I removed tiger out of there. I'm letting some of the algae grow. And that also allows all of these floating plants to thrive because tiger tends to eat all of the roots on the floating plants. So can't really have floating plants if I've got tiger in there. So he's in a different tank uh, for the time being. Tons of new growth in here. Just couldn't be more excited. The one thing that I would like to have more of is have these plants be taller. If I could get them to about halfway up the aquarium, I think that that would look pretty good. That would give a nice place for all of these fish to hide and, and thrive. You know, it's kind of funny. Uh, a couple of months ago, I made a video and I said, give it two months and this tank is gonna look amazing. And buzzkill because it, it didn't. <laughs> so. Um, but having said that, I do think in a couple more months, I think this tank will be looking pretty good. I mean, based on the amount of new growth that I'm getting and the runners in there and the purling, I have no reason um, to believe that this won't be uh, very successful here in the, in the near future. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of all I wanted to, to give you was just a quick update on this tank. If you guys have any questions about these uh, plants, any of the plants in here, or the fish, which are rummy nose tetras, and I'm sorry they're being a little shy today, I uh, did raise the water level today as well, so they're a little stressed out and just hiding at the bottom. Um, tomorrow they should be out and about more again. All right, guys, uh, just a quick video for you guys, quick update on this tank. Again, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you like this content. You're not going to want to miss any of these future videos. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.